request. We do have reserved what I believe is sufficient time for a good Q&A. The questions uh, may be offered. If you decide that you do not wish to come down to a microphone sometime during the evening, if you would just kind of wave a piece of paper on which you have written your question, I'll make sure we pick it up and bring it up here and deliver that question from the podium. Otherwise, at the end of our toward the end of our panel program, we will open up the mics for your questions. We urge you at this particular forum to keep the questions focused. Uh, we know that there is an anxiety uh, among some of us to uh, try and, and discuss issues. This, at this particular event, I think if we can focus on questions that will help answer those questions that deal with the uh, responsibility of government to the citizens, I think we will all be better served at this point. We asked the elected officials be invited tonight, and many of you responded, thank goodness. These people are our representatives, and for those of us who have questions of them, or about their agencies and wish to deliver them through the microphone, the panelists will respond, but I hope the public officials to whom those questions more properly should have been directed will take uh, heed of them and respond directly to those of you who ask, the, ask those questions. <coughs> I hope to follow that. Our first, our first speaker tonight, if I've got these notes straight out, hang on. Our first speaker tonight has been the president of the Washington Coalition for Open Government for several years. But better yet, he served on the board when, when we were back uh, serving on that board. He's, he's a, a, a former elected representative to the House of Representatives from uh, East King County. Uh, he has tons of experiences experience relating to our access issues, many of which he dealt with when he served in the legislature. This will not be the first time you hear this. It will not, probably not be the first time you will hear it this evening. It's posted on the programs that we offer you. But recognize this, please. The people of this state do not yield their sovereignty to the agencies which serve them which serve us. The people in delegating authority do not give their public servants the right to decide what is good for the people to know and what is not good for us to know. The people insist on remaining informed so we can maintain control over the instruments that we have created. This is the preamble to the Open Public Meetings Act and now is the preamble to the new, the newer uh, Public Records Act that was adopted by the legislature in 2005. But it all comes to us from the initial Public Disclosure Act approved by the citizens of this state through an initiative process in 1972. Now that particular PDA, Public Disclosure Act, really focused on information relating to those people who would choose to run for public office, requiring that they expose their backgrounds, their financial records, the activities that they performed or been involved with as they sought a public office. And buried in that initiative 272, at the end, were a few paragraphs, relatively few paragraphs, that related to access to public records. Over the many years since, nearly 100 exemptions to the Public Records Act have been enacted by our legislature. And meanwhile, another 300 or so have been embedded in other statutes relevant to other departments and other activities that are operated in our state. So the Sunshine Committee, which was formed two and a half years ago to evaluate the exemptions to the Public Records Act, has done a job, made some recommendations, none of which 
had been adopted by the legislature. And just to remind us, the Sunshine Committee is due for its obituary in July of 2010, thanks to the governor's budget. To get on with our program, Since Lynn Kessler isn't here, we can eliminate her introduction. Lynn was anxious to attend, even as we were going through the noon hour today, but this evening she did phone patients and she just simply was unable to make it to Port Townsend tonight. Uh, the legislature, even though it's not in session, continues to do its work between sessions. And I suspect that she is certainly involved in the activities of the the activities of the legislature. Toby Nixon, as president of the Washington Coalition for Open Government, has made this a free citizen outreach organization. He has helped all of us to understand public access to government. He has helped public officials to understand their responsibility Attorney Toby has earned recognition for his persistent advocacy of an open, transparent government from several state organizations, including the Washington Coalition for Open Government, the Washington State Newspaper Publishers Association, and others. Tonight, he provides background details of our state open government laws and the Washington Coalition for Open Government. Toby? 